Hello everybody, it's me. I know I've been a little bit absent for a while, um, but I've just been busy teaching so I haven't had many clients. Um, so I quickly got my little stand out and started recording this redesign today. So I have taken back um, the previous design. I have, what have I done? Oh, I've dehydrated and I've primed and now I'm going to fill in with a clear... Um, layer for the regrowth and I'm just doing a cheeky reverse for this middle finger here. Um, I'm using sugared almond for this set. Um, if you continue to watch this set at the end I have left um, my actual talking and because a funny thing happened whilst I was working um, when a spider dropped down onto my desk and it was just hilarious. Afterwards when we listened to it I was like that's just too fucking, that's just, that's gold, that's gold, I'm gonna leave that in, so if you want to giggle at me, um, going batshit crazy at a spider, then listen at the end, um, yeah, yeah, a few curse words, but, you know, that's to be expected, it's moi, isn't it, anyway, right, let's get back to the nails, pretty simple design today, we're going to be using carbon black from Glitter Bells, now there's no fucking room, look at my ginger head, Get out the way, Kylie. Off your fart. Go on, off you go. Yay. So, no room for error with black. I I kind of um, screamed at Kay a few times, like, don't fucking move, don't move. Because if I get this black anywhere, that's it. It's just going to, it's going to be awful. Okay, so anybody who's used black acrylic knows it can be a right bugger. Um, but when you apply it, please don't think of it being black acrylic. Ready? You're going to apply this just like gel. Ready? Bump it around the cuticle and wipe straight down. Just like you would do a gel polish. Bump it around and wipe. And then paint, paint, paint. Paint it down the middle. Keep all of your monomer in your brush and paint it. Yay! I am using my brush in a size 12 today. And they are all online, okay? Um, so, yeah, if you want to... Find my brushes and my files, they are all on my website. Um, just type my name in, you will find me. It's just kylieworry.co.uk. Um, so right, ready, we're going in. Boom, gel polish. Only think gel polish. Don't even think of it like acrylic because you're not applying it like acrylic. We're not patting, poking and letting it polymerize. We're not walking, we're just painting. Painting like gel polish, that's all we're doing. And remember, when you apply it the cuticle, what's my little jingle? What's my jingle, peeps? It's been a while. Tip of the brush makes it nice and flush. So get that tip of the brush in, and it will make it nice and flush, okay? No whacking it. Be really light with your hand, and it will just apply that gel polish. Promise. Right, this one is Chameleon Shard from Glitterati. It's number six. It's a bluey, hints of purple, but mainly blue. And it just has that nice chameleon shift into it. I am picking this up. I keep all of my glitters raw, so they are raw in the bag, not pre-mixed. I will pick up a small bead of clear acrylic and dip it into my glitter and then apply to the nail. When you apply, make sure you give your brush a little bit of a wiggle. The more you wiggle and pat it and the more monomer fuel will be released from the belly of your brush it will come down and it will make your bead like water and that's what we're doing not old school application anymore we're not patting and poking we are it's art now and we are painting so get out of that habit of patting and poking and fart arsing about for too long get in get it on get gone just paint Naturally, I'm not leaving the thumb in this video because it's shit and boring. It looks just like the little finger um, and a lot like most of the fingers on this set. It's just black and glittery and it's much better to leave me screaming at a spider um, 
in than watching me do a thumb. So we've got to encapsulate this nail. We're using glass slippers from Glitter Bells and I'm just doing one bead. I'm coming straight in at the cuticle and I'm going to use the tip of my brush to make it nice and flush. I work with my hand. My client's hand is elevated so you can see it's hanging down, okay? We're going to place it right at the cuticle. It can only fall down. Tip of my brush now, nice and flush. Pat, tap, 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 wipe, tap, tap, wipe, and then pulling it down the center of the nail. Okay, always tailoring it in the sides and then walking down the center because as you place it on the center, it will just squidge. So you keep refining your shape with your brush. That means the filing will be minimal and we all hate filing. The end of it, we don't say, I'm just going to file your nails. It's more, let's just refine the nails because we've done the majority of the work with the brush. And then after I have encapsulated the whole set, I'm going to go in and refine that smile line. I'm going to go and make it lovely and crisp, not leaning my file on top or underneath, flat, 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 right up against it so it's lovely and sharp. I'll be using carbon black and some more of those chameleon shards before encapsulating in glass slippers. And this is where I'm going to leave you because my spider bit's going to come in. Um, I'd like to say that no spiders were harmed in the making of this video. That's fucking lie. So apologies, people. But it was too funny to not get rid of. So yeah, apologies for my language. It's just natural me. And that is all you're ever going to get from me with YouTube. I'm not going to pretend to be anything I'm not. This is me. I could burst into song with that, um, like The Greatest Showman, but I'm not going to because we're not here for that. We're here for nails. So enjoy and watch. And thank you for watching. Sorry I've been absent. Um, I will try and do more clients, but I physically can do it. But yay. Um, thank you for staying with me. I will leave all products and descriptions in the drop down box. And yeah, I will hopefully see you all again soon. Now enjoy the spider screaming. Right. Uh, uh, spider has just come onto your bureau. Oh, and where is it gone? It's, no, it's just dropped. Where is it? Uh, where? How big? It's just help me. I don't know because it's just dropped into there. There, it's where? There. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! You got it. top of here and then drop down like it just came out from here and i was like shit oh fuck me i've gone all weird and me i've gone really like itchy and oh now you're gonna have spider eye now <sighs> it was like really thick bodied and oh. was it one of them big ones but smaller? it wasn't yeah like it was smaller just than the fact a big that one it was like oh i really don't like spiders no nor me Ted had a big one in his room last night. Did he? Yeah, he didn't see it. Me and Chris put him to bed. Yeah. And Chris, Chris normally isn't like, he's just like, oh, just leave it be, leave it be. Anyway, I was out on the land and he went, you better go get the hoover. I said, what? He went, I know, oh, fucking hell. Oh. And Chris said he was abusive, wasn't he? I was like, and normally he's like, oh, he's little. Yeah. Anyway, I got the hoover. I had to go and empty that bag outside straight away. I was going to say, you like, got rid of it. Yeah. I was looking at the hoover then going, oh, God, it's next to me. Um, but anyway, it clunked when I hoovered it. Oh. It was that big. No. It was so fucking big.